Welcome back to another player build, y'all. Today we have an absolute legend and one of, if not the most entertaining players in NHL history, in my opinion, Pavel Datsuk. And real quick before we get into it, if y'all are enjoying the series and the videos, just drop a sub with notice on so you don't miss your favorite players in the future. Let's get right into game one for y'all. Let's get it. Here we go, boys. Hopping into game one with the Pavel Datsuk build. And I'd be lying if I said I was not excited for this build because I am so excited. Pavel Datsuk was literally one of my favorite players, always has been. I've been naming my player after Datsuk since I started playing Chell, which is part of the inspiration for this series. And I mean, how could you not love Pavel Datsuk? He could literally do everything. He could reverse hit people. He could dangle. He could shoot like crazy. He was a crazy ass passer. Go, go, go. Let's go, baby. There we fucking go. So anyways, that leads me to my next point of this challenge for this one, boys, is going to be to get a hat trick. So we can obviously score more than three goals, but we have to score at least three goals with the Datsuk move. So it can be a Datsuk flip or it can be a Datsuk shot, but we have to get a total of three goals with those two combined moves. I'm going to try and get at least one of each in there, but we have to get three total with them. Oh my god. No way. I'm ass for that. I can't even lie. Oh, come on. Go, go, go. Damn it. Oh, okay. That definitely doesn't count towards the challenge. But I mean, it's a tie game. So we'll fucking take it. Here we go, boys. Hopping in the second period. Not the cleanest goals in that first period, but the challenge is still on the table, and we're definitely going to complete it for y'all. I promise y'all boys that. I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. I'm fast as fuck, there boy. We <laughs> there we fucking go, baby. That's one that suit. Oh, boy, do we need that one bad, fellas. That was an absolute fucking beauty, though. Just an absolute Pavel Datsuk classic, if I do say so myself. Big block. No. Oh, that's so unlucky that he didn't grab that. Easy win. Oh, that was a pass. That was a pass, and it went in the net. We fucking take those. What a shot. Oh my gosh. The square has not been an easy road, but now it's a short game as we enter the last little bit of the second period. Manages to hang on. Shot. Come on, man. Starting the third period, fellas, and we have one Datsuk out of three, but of course our main goal is to get the W. How the fuck does that not go in, bro? Like, what am I doing? Let's fucking go, baby. Let's go, boy. Let's go. What a hit. Get back. Move, move, move. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need to complete the challenge, boys. Oh, I'm so sorry. Let's go. Ah, uh, fuck. Oh, wow. Go, go. Let's get another one. Get another one, North. Let's go. <laughs> what a fucking goal. I didn't have a chance at that suit it there, bro. Fuck. Why did you... Bro, you literally wait to a second and a half, and I'm ass naked. No, I don't care, bro. Fucking pass me the puck. Oh, man. That hurts, bro. That really hurts. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, regardless of what happens on this penalty shot, this is a hell of a game, so y'all are going to see this one. But we had a chance to fucking complete our challenge, and North sends it over the boards for a penalty shot. 
But at the end of the day, I can't get mad at anybody but myself because I definitely did have a couple chances and I didn't finish them. What an absolutely incredible game one. As y'all see, we had nine goals, one assist. We absolutely put the boys on our back with this Datsuk build this game. This build is freaking nasty. And we only got two Datsuks. Unfortunately, we didn't get the hat trick with the Datsuk move, even though we did score nine goals. So I can promise y'all we will be completing that challenge and hopefully getting a couple more assists in game two because I swear to y'all I was not trying to play selfish. It's kind of just the way the game went down. So let's hop right into game two for y'all. Here we go, boys, hopping into game two. And as promised, like I said, there will be a hat trick of three Datsuk goals this game. I promise y'all, boys, that penalty. No, perfect. Let's fucking go, baby. What a pass by Datsuk. Feel paralyzed. Come on, come on, Pringle. Let's go. Is that it? I guess we're going to count that at one. I honestly couldn't really tell if I got that shot off. I think we're going to count that as one out of three so far, boys. But we might have to take a quick review with that at the intermission. All right, upon further review, boys, as you see, we did get it off. We were just really close into the net. So that does count as that souk number one. I'm sorry, that was like a slow replay. I had to rewind kind of far back for that. Hopping in the second period, though, boys, we have one out of three that souks. So we are on a pretty good pace so far. Hopefully we're able to keep it up though. Come on, I'm taking off. Oh yeah. Yes. No, why? Just let me do the fucking move. Oh my god, I hate this game. I hate this game. I fucking suck. Hopping in the third period, we definitely had a couple of opportunities, but we sadly could not convert on the Datsuk in that game. So or not that game, that period, my bad. Uh, so we have to try and get two here in this third period. Let's go, 2K. Give me a big save here, kid. Let me see some. Let me see some. Damn. All good, though. All good. Fuck, man. There we go. Oh, fuck. oh my gosh, what a save. Oh yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, baby. That's only two, but fuck it. All right, listen, boys. I know we didn't hit three Datsuks in that game, but we technically hit two in each game. I know the one was an empty netter in that game, but regardless, we technically hit three combined in both of those games. But as y'all see, we had three goals and one assist in that one. We absolutely went off. We hit some nasty ass clips. That's why y'all are going to see this game. I figure hopefully y'all don't care too much about me not getting that last extra Datsuk in there for y'all but we did get four total like I said so hopefully y'all can forgive me but anyways let's get right into this Datsuk build because this build is fucking disgusting y'all let's get it so to recreate a Pavel Datsuk build obviously he's an extremely difficult player because he can literally do everything from hitting the shit out of people to passing to dangling to reverse checking there's literally not a single thing this man can not do besides maybe play goaltender but even then i'd probably guess that he could play goaltender but that's besides the point 
but with relation to his size and his speed and just his overall play style the archetype that fit best with that was a dangler and he is listed at 511 and 194 pounds on the nhl website however we did keep his height at 511 but we made him 180 pounds just to give him a little plus one on his speed because he was a pretty fast skater then he is of course a left-handed shooter and abilities and boosts we will come back to as always all right so first for your technique attributes you want to add three to your speed add three to your balance then take three off agility take three off slap shot accuracy and two off your wrist shot accuracy obviously the shooting and agility would be way higher if we could fully customize this build and make them like a 95 overall however we have to do the best we can with what shell gives us like i always tell y'all so that's kind of what we went with for our technique attributes so next for your power attributes all you want to do is add five to your puck control add three to wrist shot power two to slap shot power then take five off of your acceleration and four off of your endurance. So for Datsuk's playstyle attributes, you wanna add three to passing, two to stick checking, which I know is actually really weird because I always shit on stick checking, and say how it's completely useless attribute, which is very, very true. And I still stand by that statement. However, for Pavel Datsuk, he was so good with his stick checks and stuff, lowering his stick checking would be absolutely disrespectful because he was a very very skilled stick lifter so stick checking is kind of the attribute that correlates with that so it's only right that we at least upgraded a little bit so then with that being said you're just going to want to take three off of your offensive awareness and take one off body checking and one off of defensive awareness as well for your play style attributes after that for your tenacity attributes all you want to do is add four to strength one to hand eye then take five off shot blocking and four off of your durability so for your last attributes your tactics attributes and this attribute category is actually part of the reason why i made datsuka dangler for this video and it's because as you see we have 90 deking where normally with most of these center builds we get stuck in a city shitty situation where either we have to upgrade face offs a little bit upgrade deking a little bit or completely tank our deking and up our face offs or vice versa but with Pavel Datsuk, we can actually add five to our face-offs, get 90 face-offs, and have 90 deking. But in order to do that, we do have to take five off of our fighting skill and take three off of our discipline as well. Now, for a Pavel Datsuk zone ability, you really can use any of these abilities, and it would accurately represent Pavel Datsuk. However, I think the best one to represent him is puck on a string because he quite literally would have the puck on a string the way that he could control the puck and stuff it was absolutely unbelievable so puck on a string is definitely what we want for his own ability so for our superstar abilities for our first one we decided to go with a backhand beauty because Pavel Datsuk had an absolutely disgusting backhand and he was probably one of the best in the game at the backhand shot so we had to do him some justice there then for his second one you know we had to give the back-to-back-to-back -back -back Selkie winner some love on his defensive game. And the main staple of his defensive game was definitely his stick lifting like I had mentioned before. So we went with stick him up for his second superstar ability. And finally for Pavel Datsuk's boost we decided to go with power skating just to give him a little bit more speed. 89 was definitely a little bit low on the speed end. So 91 felt honestly really really good to represent a Pavel Datsuk build. Then for our second one, we went with control deking just to really show off the incredible handle he had on the puck a little bit more. I know 90 probably would have sufficed, but 90 felt even a little bit low for me, so I wanted to give him more. That's why we used the control deking boost as well. And that is how we've recreated Pavel Datsuk right here in EASHL. If you did enjoy the video and you are enjoying the series, please feel free to drop a like on the video, comment any other players you want to see me recreate in EASHL down below. And also sub with noties on so you don't miss your favorite players in the future. I'll see you boys in the next one. I appreciate you watching. Peace.